welcome to another vlog where today I'll be sharing with you this little trip that we did. It wasn't too far from where we are in the south of France to this place called Fountain de Crest and I will put that up on the screen because I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing it correctly but this was a little sort of sacred fountain spring that is up in the mountains near the Midi Pyrenees and as you can see the forest around is just lush it's just magical here and we'd actually heard of this place because after hunting down my nearest witchy supply shop metaphysical store and which is actually called the witch shop in English which is interesting I'll put a, a little picture up on the screen of the shop and it was a cute little shop and when we was there last year we asked if they know of any sort of magical sacred um, places in nature that we could visit and the lady there said that this place is well known for fairies that people claim to have connected with or seen even fairies at this fountain and um, obviously the water here is very sacred they even have sort of like a, a, a bathing pool so on a hot day you can choose to sit in the pool or we chose to sit in well I dipped my legs in a tray fully emerged into the, um, the river this like river stream that was created here and um, something did feel so magical about it and I just sort of share with you some of the clips like we didn't get too many clips when we were there because really we was just trying to enjoy ourselves you know and really soak it up ourselves and and maybe see if we can spot any fairies or feel anything while we're there and we definitely did feel this really intense magical energy there and um, I haven't looked at all the clips yet so maybe who knows maybe I do spot some fairies in the clips and you can let me know if you spot any in these clips but um, I hope that you enjoy this vlog and it inspires you to seek out any magical and um, places near you Make it look small. Ah, dragonfly! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's cute. It is.
We're on a fairy quest. Find a fairy hunt. Dun, 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 dun. I'm putting them in on my little meditation by the fountain. I think this path. Yes. Up the mountain. <laughs> Focus. Okay. Ouch. A bit squeaky after my head. <laughs> Not the squeak of what an awesome little path. Such a cool path. It's Okay, I should be able to take them off, but it's not that rocky, is it? No. I don't want to cut my feet. <laughs> <laughs> the rubber squeaky shoes go off. <laughs> Bare feet and wonderful. <laughs> Happy? Yes. No more squeaky. <laughs> <gasps> I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Because if you look at that branch, that is not a steady branch. Oh, so cool. Yeah, it's just. Living out our Dane and Tarzan dreams, almost. Keeping the camera out for fairies. Yeah. I bet there's been loads already. Oh, it feels so magical. Okay. Up. We're on our fairy walk. That's the fairy road. Gotta go up the fairy road. The fairy road. We're on the fairy road. I'm hoping to accidentally catch some fairies on camera. Hey fairies, come out, come out, wherever you are. And I'm the fairy. <laughs> There's one there in the tree. Is it recording? Why is it upside down? Yeah. You found a nice tree, lover. That'd be a good tree for a swing. This would be the perfect tree for a swing. Mm. It's not the most impressive, but I huh? felt drawn to this wand. Most would just say it's a stick, but it's definitely a wand. Okay. It's not the easiest going barefoot on the path. But it's actually quite soft ground. Oh, some sticks and twigs, of course. But the earth is uh, nice and grounding and soft and squidgy and wet. And it's a hot day, so I don't mind. Oh, where is that monkey boy? He's found himself, he's found himself a wand, I think, or a staff.
Ba iga. Found yourself a nice... Nice little staff. Yeah. Fairies love wood fallen tree bridges. So you gotta check out all the fallen tree bridges. Oh, really? So, legend has it that, hey, you're pulling my pants down. <laughs> legend has it that fairies love playing on bridges like this. Fairies love building their homes in the little nooks of fallen trees. So you can see here, a fallen tree and oftentimes fairies will find little places like this and make houses it looks like this might be a little fairy hovel you can see the little dens here and here and I'm pretty sure I spotted one right over here as well. You can see these are all possible places within the other realm, of course. You see that? That is a beautiful little fairy home. I'm sure of it. Look at that. Incredible. Here's a fallen tree. Oopa. A lot of termite stuff. If I can get up here. Ooh, those are some nice staffs. Gotta check those out. Oh, really cool staffs. Perfect, actually. Look at that. Oh, beautiful, solid, solid construction, smooth wood. Yeah, this be a perfect staff. This will help me get across, hopefully, without falling. It's gonna be there is a little bit of a bounce to this. Hopefully it doesn't crack. Ooh, that was a little scary. Just crossed over. Love her. Check out what I crossed. I so, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm coming up here. Whoa, that's a really smooth stone. Really smooth. Coming up here because we spotted some ruins down here. All this different cool moss. 
Awesome moss. Beauty. Old stone walls. Wow, these stone walls are go so deep. So another place to look for fairies is in natural little archways like this. Beautiful little doorway into another world. Probably at the right times of year or in the right state of mind. Fairies pass through and on to the other side. Dun, 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 dun. Perfect little arch doorway there. <laughs> found a good walking stick. Jay found a mega stand. <laughs> I have to get back so you can appreciate it. Well, getting caught in the trees there. Alright, I've always wanted to find a good walking Oh. <laughs> Don't come near me! <laughs> He's like, knock me out with this big bloody stick. Hey, it's stuck. I think it wants to stop. Yeah.